Right then, this is the return of the Tea Party, uh, now entering the Dwaro Delph cycle. Uh, the, so the Tea Party's back with Theodred, Eowyn and Aragorn. Uh, then a couple of tweaks to the deck, um, partly because I couldn't remember exactly what was in the old one, but also um, just to include some of the new cards. So the first quest is the Redhorn Gate. Stage one is Up the Pass. Celeborn has you bid has bid you escort Arwen to visit her father in Rithendel. Your journey takes you through the Redhorn Gate. Add Coradris to the staging area, remove all copies from Snowstorm from the encounter deck, and set them aside out of play. Put Arwen Undomniel, or something like that, into play under control of the first player. And up the pass. Uh, nine, when revealed, reveal one card from the encounter deck per player and add it to the staging area. And it's nine progress. So we've got Coradris in the staging area. Unique location, three progress, nine uh, progress required, three threats, sorry, nine progress required. While Caradris is the active location, questing characters get minus one quest. Players cannot travel to Caradris except by quest card effects. So, and it's victory three. Um, if we have a quick look at Arwen, since she's going to pop up in a few quests, Arwen, she's two quest, two spirit, zero attack, one defense, two hit points. Uh, I have a, as an ally permanently, she's an old or noble. Response, after she exhausts, choose a hero, add one resource to that hero's resource pool. So she's a money maker, uh, which in a, in a split sphere is particularly nice. So um, before we obviously do that, I've got to draw my start in hand. So not entirely sure on this deck's balance. Um, feels like I've got a lot of spirit cards in there, but we'll see. So straight off, a completely dead card. Oh, wait. Uh, one copy of her in the deck, uh, but she uh, can't be played, obviously, because she's in play. Miravor, West Road Traveller, Guard of the Citadel, West Road Traveller, Stand and Fight. Uh, only a single leadership card, none of the big cards, and a dead card in Arwen, so I will mulligan that. Which bodes well for uh, the deck building. Starting threat of 29, uh, and got to add my... Uh, Throughout there, this is the fourth time I think uh, I'll have played this quest. Uh, re really easy with three people, as it turned out, but uh, I think this could be a really tricky one um, with uh, solo, as so much of the game is. And to be honest, this cycle uh, is so so hard. Um, I mean, whether or not that's whether or not the difficulty actually has curved up, or whether it's just that the tricks that you know, so familiar with the, so familiar using in the earlier cycle don't work as well, but it seems the enemies and the treacheries are so horrible. I mean, the uh, the latter stage of this quest, uh, where the mountain just freezes you to death, um, it doesn't bode terribly well. Uh, so, thankfully, this is a very questy quest, but very catchy, uh, and this is a very questy deck. So, I have to hope it can see me through. Right then, so let's see what we're stuck with now. Can't be more Arwins, because there's only one in the deck. So, we've got the Imradris Stargazer, Stand and Fight, Boffer, Hasty Stroke, A Test of Will, which is admittedly brilliant, and Guard of the Citadel. So again, one leadership card, but there we go. Right, so first turn, draw a card. Oh, and... Um, since the new cycle also picked up these uh, resource tokens from uh, Team Covenant. Uh, absolutely lovely. I only got 12 of them, but if I ever get to a position where I need more than 12 resources, I'll be so happy that I won't mind using different tokens. So I should have also revealed a card. Ooh, a Mountain Troll. 35 engage, 2 threat, 5 attack, 5 defense, 7 hit points, plus 1 attack for each mountain location in the staging area. So at the moment, uh, since Karadris is a mountain, he's on attack 6. Um, hopefully won't be fighting him any time soon. Uh, two threat, which is a bit of a pain in the uh, certain parts of the body. So, just drew sneak attack. So, right. Um, so, let's see. Well, Arwen is going to be able to give resources in the same way as Theodrid, so that's really handy. Um... 
I'm going to go with the Guard of the Citadel. Always reliable. Uh, and we will leave it at that. Uh, questing. Arwen is going to go and she will give a resource to Eowyn. Theodred is going to go. He will give a resource to Aragorn. Eowyn's going. Aragorn's going, spending his resource to ready. And we'll leave the guard back there. Um, and I'm wondering whether or not to bring in Boffer now. Uh, might be worthwhile. Do you know what? Actually, I'm going to keep hold of my resources. Right then. So, uh, at the moment, we're looking at four, six, seven, eight, nine against five. Freezing cold, treachery. When revealed, the first player attaches this card to a hero he controls. It counts as a condition attachment with the text. Attached hero gets minus two quest and cannot commit to a quest. If attached hero has more than one copy of Freezing Cold attached, discard attached hero from play. Um, well, this is going to make potentially any member of my group completely useless and kill them later in the game. So I will play a test of will to cancel its effect. Right. Um, so that's five in the area. Um... So Eowyn and Theodred are five, so Arwyn and uh, Aragorn double up to put full progress onto up the pass. Um, not going to be engaging, that's no troll, uh, since can't even scratch the, bling the blinking thing. Um, can't travel to Caradris, so that's threat up. Ready everyone? Uh, round two. Uh, and a card. The sword that was broken attached to a hero. The attached hero gains the leadership resource icon. And if the attached hero is Aragorn, each character you control gets plus one willpower. So, uh, this in a, in a uh, thing that is looking to freeze people who have zero willpower is an extremely nice card. Uh, even though I can't afford to play it. So, um... Now, uh, Eowyn's got decent resources, but uh, probably going to need to hold on to them. Uh, so, questing. Uh, right, Arwen will give her resource to Aragorn. Theodred will give Aragorn a resource which he'll spend and ready. Eowyn's questing. Aragorn is already he's going, spending, so he's ready. Right. So, it is <laughs> freezing cold. Good lord, it is not this group's day. Um, so, this the person that gets this attached can't quest anymore. Well, that makes Theodred pretty blinking useless. Um, if I attach it to Aragorn, then he, he's, he, that's a complete waste, and Eowyn's whole existence is questing, so Theodred, you're going to have to get pretty cold, mate. Uh, so Theodred's whole power is gone, so now he's a one defence, two attack character from now on. Great. Um, however, that is four more progress. Uh, and this is seeming... Oh, hang on. No, it's not, of course. It's two less, because... No, one less, sorry, because Theodred's quest is one less. So that's two, six, eight against five, so that's three... Um, so there's no point discarding a card just to, uh, oh, actually, when have I got the, when is the window for a quest action? Because I could jump in offer and finish it off. Ah, right, I could jump in Boffer and finish. Because uh, we're on seven, we need two more. Right then, I will spend one of Ewin's resources to play in Boffer. So we get two more progress and we finish. Um, but because we quested successfully, Boffer comes back to my hand. So that's first stage done. Snowdrifts. 
progress slows as you meet the fury of the mountains. Suddenly, sudden snows fall heavy around you, and a bitter wind howls down from the peaks. You uncover a shallow depression in the snow, filled with frozen remains. Some of them bear strange markings, as if they had been burned with flame. How many other doomed souls lie beneath these quickly rising drifts? Well, Theodred's going to join them, if we're not careful. So that's 11 progress when revealed. Shuffle one more copy of Snowstorm into the encounter deck than the number of players in the game. Forced after placing the 11th progress token on Snowdrifts, discard the any active location and Caradris becomes the active location. So, since freezing cold wasn't enjoyable enough as a treachery, now we get two Snowstorms. Snowstorm. When revealed, each questing character gets minus one willpower until the end of the phase. As a shadow, until the end of the phase, defending characters sending this attack get minus one willpower and are discarded if their, if their willpower is zero. Great. So two of those get shuffled into our deck, which has so far coughed up a snow troll and two freezing colds. Um, so, ah, oh, Phaedrid is so useless now, and I can't really see any way that we're going to get around him. Get around his uselessness. Uh, I mean, the best he offers now is a little bit of a chop, and that's it. Technically, I suppose he's still generating resources, but I mean, if that's the best thing you can say about a character, the thing is he's completely uh, Aragorn's ability to spend resources and ready himself is now halved in its effectiveness thanks to Theodred freezing his toes off but couldn't have done it to Eowyn and Aragorn's whole ability to ready himself would have been completely mitigated by being freezing cold uh, although Theodred is about to die um, so we can't travel so these guys will come back ready spread up by one closing on that snow troll that's nice round marker up by one gain a card Another guard of the citadel. Okie dokie. Three resources. Now the sword that was broken wouldn't necessarily be a bad shout. Um, so let's play the sword that was broken. For three resources on Aragorn. So now everybody else has got plus one. Uh, plus one willpower. Let's send the guard, let's play the guard of the citadel as well. Uh, since now they're actually quite good. So questing, Arwen's going and she'll give her resource to Aragorn. Phaedra can't go. Eowyn's going. And... Aragorn's going, spending his resource to ready. Guard of the Citadel's going. And Guard of the Citadel's going. Let's smash this. It is. Oh, it's not a treachery. It's a Mountain Warg. Two threat, four attack, two defense, four hit points. If the Mountain Warg is dealt a shadow card with no effect, return Mountain Warg to the staging area after it attacks. So, similar to the Warg uh, earlier. So that's five, seven. And we are two, six... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's 7 progress. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. However, now it's uh, wild time. Since I sent my guards, this means that it's going to have to be Theodred or Aragorn that uh, take the hit. Well, Theodred can't offer anything... Uh, in return, and he's going to freeze to death when we get to the next location anyway. So Theodred may as well defend, and if he dies, he dies. Uh, until the end of the phase, characters defending this attack get minus one quest, and are discarded if their quest is zero. Well, that is awful. So his quest was one higher, putting him at two, but it's three lower. So he's actually just discarded and killed, which means now the attack counts as undefended. Uh, which means four damage gets to go straight to Aragorn. Right, Aragorn will hit back, doing a single wound. Oh dear. Right then, threat it by one. Goes on to round four. Can a card. Miravor. It's pretty useful at least. Uh, Right then, two resources. 
since Feyenoord has not only frozen to death, it's been caught in a snowstorm. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh. Oh dear, this is such an awful series of choices. Um. Right, let's get Boffer out then. And that's all we can do. Questing, Arwin gives Aragorn a resource, Ewin's going, Aragorn's going, spend a resource, Boffer is going, and uh, we'll leave the guards back at home. Oh, it's a location. The knees of the mountain, two threat, three progress, while the knees of the mountain is in the staging area, it gains forced after an enemy engages a player, it gets plus one attack until the end of the round. Lovely. Uh, so, that's five, seven, that's two, six... 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, so that's smashed, which puts Caradris as the active location, the chances of surviving this is slim, the mountain's peaks, the mountain's peaks are almost in reach, but the swirling snows make it difficult to see and your strength begins to drain away with the daunting final push to the pinnacle, so playing K2. Um, when revealed, shuffle all copies of Snowstorm in the encounter discard pile back into the encounter deck. Characters are discarded if their willpower is over zero. Players cannot defeat this stage unless they have five victory points. If the players defeat this stage, they've won the game. Caradris is only worth three victory points. Uh, so, uh, great. Snowstorm gets to be shuffled back in. No, I don't think this is going to be the most noble beginning for the, uh, the tea party. Well, at least Aragorn's blade balances out uh, Caradris. Who knew that a sword uh, could balance out a mountain? And he could chop down a blinking thing. Right. Okay, then. So, attacking. God of the Citadel defends against the mountain wargs. It's Rocky Crags. Attacking enemy gets plus one attack for each progress token on the active location. Ha! Ah. No extra attack, not that he needed it, but at least he doesn't run away. Eats the Guard of the Citadel. Aragorn and the Guard of the Citadel combined for four attack, minus two is two wounds. Ah, irritating. Why can't that sword be more effective? End of the round, throw it up by one. Everyone readies. Round marker up to five. And... The Gladrum's Greetings. Uh, shame we don't have any resources with which to actually play the blinking thing, but at least it'll keep us out of range of that snow troll. Hmm. Ugh, I really needed uh, Eowyn's resources to uh, to help us out here. But unfortunately, we are too poor to... Uh, Put into play what we need to put into play. Oh, I should have used Hasty Stroke um, when Theodore... But although, yeah, they just put wounds on Aragorn, I guess. Right then. Um, can't really play anything. Ugh. Okay, so Arwen's going, gives a resource to Eowyn. Eowyn's going, Aragorn spends one to ready. Oh, Lord. And... Uh, Arthur, you may as well go. Right. Oh, another mountain. Kelebdil. Three threat, seven progress, while Kelebdil is the active location. Remove two progress tokens from the end of the, the end of each round. Lovely. So that's seven there. That's two, four, eight, ten. The Everyone's minus one, but everyone's plus one, so that's actually nine. Nine against seven, that's two progress. Um, I have no way to help us. <laughs> um, but I'm going to discard the Amlandris Stargazer. Put an extra progress on there. Since we need to defeat that monster. Okay. 
when everyone comes back. So, Guard of the Citadel takes the Warg. Thank God, it's got a shadow text. Uh, if the attack is undefended, deal two additional shadow cards to the attacking enemy. Ooh, it wasn't undefended. That's another Guard of the Citadel eaten. Aragorn hits the Warg back and kills it. Okay, end of the round, throw it by one. I'll mark her up. Gain a card. Snowball and Scout. Oof. Now that is very nice when Caradres is causing us such problems. Uh, already done the threat. That's a resource to everyone. Well, everyone. All two of them. Uh, right then. So, Snowborn Scout. Uh, although he's instantly dead. Um, so, I'd be paying a resource just to... No, it's not really... Not really worth it. Um... I don't need the Gladrum's greetings this turn. Oh lord, it's going so terribly. Um, okay, let's play Mirrorvore onto Eowyn. And that'll have to do. Arwen. Gives a resource to Eowyn. Eowyn. Aragorn spends one to ready. And Boffer is on his way as well. Guard. Another mountain troll. So that's seven, nine. So that's two, six, eight, ten. Minus one is nine. So at the moment we're equal. Ugh. Um... Terrible decisions are terrible. Um, right, drink Mirrorvore. We'll give Eowyn a resource. And plus one quest. Uh, so that we're now on... So that's two, because the plus one gets minus that. So that's seven, nine, which actually minus one to eight, ten. Against nine, we put one progress on there. Uh, I have to discard a card. Get rid of the Snowball and Scout, since that gives a progress. Essentially the same way. Okay. Wonderful. Throw it up by one. Well, now we're at Snow Troll level, although Gladrim's Greeting should take care of that. Resources. A card. Ancient Mathem. Goody gumdrops. Okay, may as well touch hatch Ancient Mathem to Caradris. Play Gladrim's Greetings. For three, they're in my threat by six. Okay, so questing, everyone will go. Everyone spends a resource to ready, and an avalanche when revealed. Exhaust each ready character, and if it is the quest phase, commit them to the quest. Yeah. So Aragorn is exhausted. So I'm pretty sure we get no progress now. That's two, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, and there's nine there as well. I have to discard a card to get a progress. Um, discard a hasty stroke. Ugh, we need three more. Can't see this happening. Throw it up by one. Everyone readies. Okay. Round marker up. Gain a card. Steward of Gondor. Oh, that takes care of the money. If only I had anything to spend it on. Right. Play Steward of Gondor and kneel it. Um. Now I've got stand and fight, so I can put an ally from my discard pile into play, but the best ally we've got in the discard pile is the Guard of the Citadel. So it doesn't really um, give us terribly much, but... Right then, questing. Arwen gives Eowyn a resource. Aragorn spends one to ready. 
Botha is on his way. Card. The Black Rooks. Two threat. Uh, oh dear. Okay, we'll play Stand and Fight um, from Eowyn. Uh, so that puts a guard of the Citadel into play. Uh, although that doesn't actually help us particularly. Um, since I hadn't sent him on the quest, that was stupid. So we're only nine, there's two there. So now our threat goes up by two. Which means the black Uruks are going to engage. Guard of the Citadel defends. No uh, shadow effect, but still kills the Guard of the Citadel. Uh, Aragorn can't hurt them. Threat up by one. Ram marker up by one. Well, card. Arwen! Yay, a dead draw! Um, I mean, we could pay to get our way up the mountain. Uh, I've got nothing I can play. Off you go. Give you a resource. Aragorn spends a resource. Buffer's on his way. Draw a card. Oh, the Wild Lair. When revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pile for one copy of Mountain Wild and add it to the staging area. Then shuffle the encounter deck. Jeez. There's a mountain wag. Uh, oh, goody, goody. Um, so, we have nine quests, which will be ten, because there's no reason not to uh, spend Arwen. So we're on ten, and this is on one, four, uh, six, eight, ten, twelve. So we fell by two. The mountain wag engages. The, both the mountain trolls engage. Uh, so Aragorn defends. The there's nothing he can survive. Defends one of the mountain trolls, which eat him, and the other mountain troll eats Eowyn, and we fail. Ah, we got six progress onto there. Uh, just had nowhere near the questing needed uh, to achieve that. Uh, um, oof, horrible. Couldn't make it. First one for the uh, tea party is a crushing, frozen, mountain troll-eaten defeat.